What is up everybody? Welcome back. My name is Travis Modison. I'm a realtor here in Southern Oregon. I serve Jackson and Josephine counties and uh, I'm with eXp Realty <clears throat> and I'm also proud to be an affiliate of Homes for Heroes. Thank you for coming to the channel where we talk about all the things in Southern Oregon. Today it's all about Medford and things that you can do in the summertime in Medford, Oregon. So, if you haven't been to Medford, it's hot in the summertime. In fact, this last month, we had temperatures in excess of 115 degrees in Medford. Hi. We set or tied all-time records throughout the valley. And in Medford, the summertime is just flat out hot. So, what can you do? Well, stay tuned all the way to the end because there's a special guest who's going to present our final idea for the summertime. And you're going to want to see that. So first, for the outdoor enthusiasts uh, in, the, in the crowd, Medford has a lot of great opportunities for you. One of those is hiking. Of course, you're going to want to get out and you're going to want to go before it gets too hot. So I highly recommend that you get up early and you go hit some major trails near Medford. Two of the best are the Table Rocks. There's Upper Table Rock and Lower Table Rock, and they're both phenomenal. Now, when it gets hot, you gotta be careful. Watch out on the trails for rattlesnakes. But in the morning when it's cool, the, the walk up the hill is incredible. Get up extra early, you can catch a sunrise from one of the Table Rocks, and it's really, really worth the treat. But just make sure that you pack plenty of snacks and plenty of water, because the hiking time varies. The, there are strenuous parts of the trail, and uh, do make sure that you uh, plan ahead so that you don't get caught up there without a bunch of water. That did happen to me once. Another great hike in Medford is Mount McLaughlin. If you want all the best views, Roxy Ann Peak is very good too, which is a little bit closer, but Mount McLaughlin is the top of the region. So if you're gonna head up to Mount McLaughlin, again, you're gonna wanna head in early so that you can beat the heat. You can catch the sunrise as well from Mount McLaughlin. Make sure you pack plenty of water. Be prepared for some people. And depending on the time of the year, you might hit some bugs, some mosquitoes, and some, some uh, other pests along the way. When you get up to Mount McLaughlin, looking down, you'll see a big, beautiful lake, which is another one of the great things that's awesome to do in Medford, Oregon, and that's to go to the Lake of the Woods. Lake of the Woods has awesome lodging, has some of the most beautiful swimming around, and you don't have to worry about low water levels out of the Lake of the Woods. It's almost always full. It's got beautiful clear water. You can sit on the beach or hang out in one of the big red camp chairs right there on the shoreline. It's really incredible. Also, you may catch a concert out there if you go at the right time in the evening. So do check in with the Lake of the Woods, check their website and see when they've got some entertainment available. It's really worth your time. Another great place to go swimming in the summertime is Applegate Reservoir. A short drive from Medford, the reservoir is attached to Applegate Lake. So Applegate Reservoir is a great place if you want to go swimming or in late summer or early fall. It's great for fishing as well. Applegate Reservoir is an awesome place where you can go and you can hang out for the day and you can really have a great time. Maybe do a picnic with the, with the family or whoever you're loved ones. Just go hang out at Applegate. It's a great thing to do. And if maybe if you can't find a spot you live at the lake, you can go up and do a couple of spots in the river, like Chantel Buckley Park. That's a great one as well. So there's lots of swimming opportunities for you around Medford. Go take a day and explore. Also, uh, there are some great places to visit near Medford, Oregon. Ashland is about 15 minutes down I-5. And Ashland offers a great downtown plaza and just a great small town vibe. In addition to the town of Ashland itself, the Oregon Shakespeare Festival is now going to be back up and running, which is awesome. So you can get some shows happening. The Shakespeare Festival usually has outdoor performances in their Elizabethan theater, which is not far from Ashland. It's a really awesome treat. You go downtown, have a great meal at the new restaurant scout down there hang out go through lithia park and then go and enjoy a play more coming next year but do go and support oregon shakespeare festival it's a great thing to do also uh, close to medford is jacksonville 
The Brit Festival is located outside of Jacksonville with the festival grounds being back open again. You'll have to check the website. Last time I looked, masks are recommended but not required and they bring in national acts, including the Brit Festival Orchestra, which is a favorite of mine. Shout out to Teddy Abrams, the conductor. You will really find an awesome place to go and hang out. You can bring your own food this season. I think you can bring your own alcoholic beverages if you're over 21 and really enjoy a concert out there in the park. The orchestra is going to be doing a series where you walk along the trails and you get to experience different pop-up music. It's really kind of an innovative uh, production with Carolyn Shaw. Highly recommend the Bread Festival, very close to Medford. It's a fabulous thing to do in the summertime. There are also sports to do in and around Medford. You can go and watch sports. The Medford Rogues is a, a collegiate level baseball team that plays out at Harry and David Field. It's awesome and you will love the atmosphere. Ticket prices are not as high as at a professional level baseball, but the level of play is astoundingly good. You'll really enjoy it. I think that it's worth taking the afternoon and going. We actually got tickets that were $4 a piece. So for the family, all five of us, we paid $20 for tickets. This is a really great deal. We go early, we get a hot dog, we get some beverages, we hang out and we watch the Medford Rose. Really enjoy, highly recommend. Another great uh, activity for the sports enthusiasts is golf. There are many golf courses around Medford. The Country Club in Medford is fantastic. The Centennial Golf Club is also very good in Medford. And then just a short drive out near Eagle Point is a world-class golf course as well. If you're a golfer, you're gonna find plenty of opportunities in and around Medford. You can do carts, you can do nine holes, you can do 18. You have lots and lots of things for you to, to pick and to choose. And it's a good thing to do in the summertime. Again, best to go when it isn't too hot or go late in the evening and catch a twilight round. It's fun too. Another thing to do for those of you who are of legal age is to go to some wineries. There are a lot of wineries in Southern Oregon, especially nearby to Medford. Two Hawk Winery features outstanding variety of wines as well as just an incredible outdoor hang and environment that is between uh, Medford and Ashland. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Another one with a great hang just outside of Jacksonville is Danson Winery. Danson Winery also has a variety of musical acts from time to time and they've got some incredible food. Also 10 out of 10 because you drive up through the vineyards and you get to sit up above the vineyards. It's a beautiful, beautiful time. Another beautiful place, another 10 out of 10 is Roxy Ann Winery. It's a great place to go and to hang out and to have a glass of wine with some friends and to just really be uh, still and be uh, slow down a little bit and just hang. And that's Roxy Ann Winery is a great place, very close to Medford and uh, also offers a great view as well. If wine isn't your thing, then cheese is. Rogue Creamery is a world-class creamery and, and cheese company based technically out of Central Point, but it's very close to Medford. They've got just the most incredible blue cheese that you've ever had. I cannot recommend it highly enough. You can go, you can get a little brief tour and you can get some fresh cheese right from their location just outside of Medford. So if you're a cheese person, you're gonna wanna check that out. Okay, as mentioned before, we've got a special guest coming up who's gonna talk about one of my favorite things, the Family's Fun Center. Please, welcome Winston Monison. Hi, I'm Winston, and I think the Family Fun Center is a great thing to do in the summer. There's go-karts, batting cages, bumper boats with squirt guns attached, mini golf, an arcade system, which if you win enough of the games, you can earn tickets to then get prizes, and they're great prizes. Ooh. There's also a snack bar with uh, popsicles, slushies, candy, all the good stuff. Recently, I went with some friends to the Family Fun Center, and it cost $30 to get two rounds on the go-karts, infinite bumper boats, and infinite mini golf. You should come to the Family Fun Center in Medford, Oregon. 
thank you so much for watching. I hope that you find a lot of great things to do in Medford, Oregon. You can't go wrong with some of the things on the list here, but I'm sure I missed something. Comment below, <clears throat> let me know what I missed. Also, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure to like this video and check it out as we cover more topics of all the things to do in Southern Oregon.